Hi, Bruno from RVing TV. Today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Hideout 272BH by Keystone RV. The 272 is approximately a 27 to 28 foot single slide trailer that is a bunk model trailer meant for families. Now this trailer will weigh in at 6,000 250 pounds and have 1,469 pounds of load. Now before we get into the review, I'd like to thank you for viewing this video. If you like the video, please click the like button, punch that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified of new videos as they come uh, due and posted on our website. So I'm going to thank you in advance. And as for thank yous, we are going to thank Bella Vista RV for giving us access to several units on their lot. So we're going to have a few upcoming videos on some different floor plans to help you find a trailer if you're in the market looking for a trailer or if you're thinking about possibly making a change from what you have. Now these Keystone hideouts are great little trailers from what I have seen in the different floor plans. The reason I say that is they have a variety of floor plans available and they have really nice construction but still with value uh, features and orientation in hand, meaning that you're getting value for your money without going crazy on the budget and with prices going where they're going these days on food and fuel and just everything in life it's nice to get as much value as you can so let, let's take a look at this hideout and some of the features that it offers up front you're going to get a power tongue jack which is nice you're going to get a sturdy built trailer this trailer is the walls, roof, and floor are all built with their joists or roof rafters built 16 inches on center, meaning that the joists are spaced 16 inches apart. What's important to note if you're new to the RV industry is that there really isn't a, a building code in the same way there is with houses. You know, when you build a house, whether you build it in Barrie or Toronto or North Bay, there's a set of standards that you have to follow. Now, don't get me wrong. There are standards for electrical to keep you protected. There are standards for propane and, and some features like the trailer frame that it sits on. But there's nothing that says Joyce have to be 16 inches on center. So if a manufacturer wants to save a bit of money, they'll space them 18, 20 inches apart, and that'll save some wood. But it does give you more flex in the trailer. 16 inches on center is ideally what you want to look at as a consumer. Um, having spoken about that, we do have a sealed underbelly and we have an underslung tongue. When I say underslung tongue, that means it goes up and underneath the frame versus coming in at the front of the trailer here. Just a little note, something to watch while you're out shopping for trailers. Now, let's continue around the outside. Nice large storage compartment here for your gear. We have power stabilizer jacks front and back. What's nice with these is a single push and you'll notice how quick and easy they retract. And setting up the trailer is just that simple. Little push of a button, down goes your jacks. When you're ready to leave, push of a button, up comes your jacks and you're done. We have a nice little feature Lippert calls it the Lippert screen assist. It's a nice bar to grab the door as you're going in and out, but as you noticed, a little gentle push and your screen door opens on you. So you're not trying to reach for a small little lever. And that's a nice screen door to let that natural air flow come in on a nice day. We have the Lippert solid steps which have become super popular. A nice feature if you're a dog lover and you travel with your pet is a dog leash holder here at the door. And then of course, 
our Solar Flex 200. Um, the Solar Flex 200 is a nice system. You get a solar panel up top, a solar charger, and that will then charge your battery or batteries while you're out camping or boondocking. We'll talk about another feature inside because you can also tie an inverter to that solar flex. We do have an outside TV hookup and outlet, and you'll notice this outlet says inverted outlet solar flex. So again, we'll talk about that a little more. Outside speakers are equipped on this unit, as well as the nice large power awning with LED light strip. Now this 272 has an ever popular feature, the last few years has become more and more popular, is the second entrance. And inside we'll show you where that entrance goes to, but this goes right into the washroom. That way if you have young kids or you like to entertain, everyone's not going through your main entrance all the way back to the washroom. They go into the washroom, come right back out. There's our stabilizer jacks in the back. The unit is equipped with a spare tire, an outside shower. I do like the LED lights. And as we look up, you'll notice that little round circular cover, that's actually for a camera prep, backup camera prep. So you can put a Furion camera system on here. We have a storage compartment here at the back and then our dump stations. A little feature that I do like on these hideouts is the splash guard underneath the slide. Just an extra level of protection when you're traveling down the road on a rainy day. And since we're here, you'll notice the black painted rims just gives it a nice sleek um, overall look. Now hideout does use the ever popular um, rack and pinion slide system. What's nice with this slide system is it's been used forever in the RV industry. Very reliable. A lot of times you'll see a little grommet uh, on the opposite side of the trailer and that's for emergencies that you can hand crank. Sometimes you just have to reach up underneath the skirting and they'll have the hand crank feature right there that if you lost battery power, didn't have a plug-in somewhere and you needed to bring the slide in because you were leaving, you can hand crank the slide in very easily. Now a feature that I was really impressed with here, and I'll try to get close enough so you can see it without a shadow being cast, is the Furion camera prep. So there's a little bracket here and that bracket can be removed. And what this has is it already has the marker light portion of the Furion side cameras. So you can buy the side camera, take this part off, slide the side camera on, and that will actually now have side cameras. And you can buy the kit with the screen and the backup camera, mount that, and now you'll have cameras for left and right sides as well as the rear. Take a look at our unboxing video. We've actually put this system on our own fifth wheel that we use, and it'll give you a little idea, and uh, take a look at our install video to get an idea of if you bought a trailer without this prep, the work that's required to do it. We're here, it's super simple. Now Hideout does come with a three year structural warranty, which is nice, but really our living's done inside. Let's go take a look inside. Now the 272 layout has been done for multiple years by multiple manufacturers. In my previous dealer days, was becoming a number one selling trailer because of the layout. Um, or similar layouts, because everybody tweaks them a little bit different. So let's take a look at some of the features. We have a futon style sofa here. So nice sitting spot, gives you some additional sleeping if you need. The sofa, I like the look of it, looks very comfortable, very simple and elegant. Now a secret for those of you who are new, 
most futon style sofas have the flexibility of putting storage underneath and this one does you have to be careful some don't because they set the sofa up on a box this has been set up high so that you have that storage and to give you an idea it folds down flat nice and easy we do have a USB plug so you can sit charge your phone um, your iPad do some reading and I do like the feature that the lights in the slide out are set on a switch here where so many manufacturers they're individual lights so I can turn the switch and all the lights go on or off instead of having to manually turn on four different lights here. Hideout does use the large windows, which is really nice. They're a dark tint, so you'll notice on a day like today, we can look out, but it, we couldn't see inside from outside. Nice dinette, which also converts for sleeping. Now, the 272 is known for its double over double bunks. So you have two large bunks, power plugs on both, windows for both bunks, and a nice ladder to climb up and down. And you'll notice the bunks are rated at 300 pounds. So this is not a trailer built just for families with young kids. You can use this with teenage children, adult, children or friends that you may want to travel with and these double over double bunks do a great job at not only being sleeping areas but if you're using this trailer for adult friends to stay or adult children and then you take off on your own without any kids or friends along those double over double bunk areas become a great place to put storage bins so you have some of that storage outside underneath those bunks, storage at the front of the trailer, but you can also put storage bins here for larger trips. So that's a feature that sometimes is overlooked. But talking about storage, a feature I really liked on this 272 is this large pantry. And Hideout did something different, I noticed, that I really liked. When I first opened the pantry, I went, wow, look at those lo lo uh, wide and long shelves. Got tongue-tied there, folks. Then I noticed, wait, they've got a hanging bar, but you've got a shelf. Well, the shelves are actually removable at every level. So what's nice is you could have hanging units, keep the center shelf there, need the, the base to be taller and take the bottom shelf out and the top shelf leave the center or mix and match as you need it. But they're nice and deep and wide. They have a nice lip here that will keep gear from flying out. And if you don't need the shelf, take it out and put in taller gear. So I thought that was really neat and then it was a nice touch that they put a light in here so you can see gear that you're getting to. Now since we're here let's take a look at our washroom because I mentioned the 272 has the door for entry from outside so there's the door itself. You do get a nice wide sink there's some storage under the sink we do have a nice mirror here a mini tub so if you have young children great for washing the young children a porcelain toilet the skylight vent above our shower and then again that door is really nice because if you have young children or like to entertain and they need to use the washroom they're coming straight here from outside they're not walking through the entire trailer, getting sidetracked and not coming outside to enjoy the warm weather. Now this unit has the 12 volt fridge. So this runs strictly on 12 volts. The advantage is the fridge is a little larger than a traditional Dometic or Norcold propane electric. So nice large freezer nice large fridge section these run very efficiently but you do want to make sure you have proper battery power and that's where that solar flex so I'm gonna jump 
to the solar flex we talked about. That's where that solar flex is nice. That solar panel can work on a day like today where it's sunny, charge up that battery and give you power, usable power inside. You can connect an inverter to it. So you'll notice in different parts of the trailer, you'll see yellow stickers on or next to the plugs and it'll tell you if it's an inverted outlet on the solar flex package. So you can go to your dealer's parts section, get it yourself or have the dealer install it. And there's an inverter that can be purchased for this system and installed to convert 12 volt to 110 volt. Now the fridge doesn't need it because it's already 12 volt and drawing is 12 volt. But it's nice that if you were gonna do some boondocking, wanted to have the flexibility of a TV to throw a movie on if you have young kids at night as you're chilling and just you know relaxing on a chilly night, that gives you the flexibility to have that. If you're doing a bit of traveling, you're gonna do some stops in truck stops or Walmarts, you have that flexibility to watch the news with a regular 110 volt or TV, a household style TV, instead of having to go buy a 12 volt TV. So great little feature. I give kudos to Hideout for prepping their units that way. Now, in the rest of the kitchen, we have our three burner cooktop with the glass cover that gives you that extra prep area, the lit knobs, which is a nice touch. We have a decent little oven. And again, this is not for turkeys. It's meant for little Cornish hens, turkey rolls, uh, you know, nuggets, fries, smaller items. Lasagnas cook well in there. We have our stainless steel micro microwave up top, storage above the sink. I do like the glass and the design in the glass, but one thing I really liked was the light inside. So not only does it give you that extra f decorative finish glowing through the glass, but it is handy to get your items from the storage. Double sink with decent countertop space around. Then we have a couple of drawers and some storage around, but a feature I like is the central vac on the hideouts. Now all the hideouts um, that are double axle, larger hideouts, do come equipped with the central vac system, so cleaning up is a super easy breeze. The center entertainment unit, so we have our TV prep, all right there, our shoe storage down below, some storage for DVDs, books, etc. behind the drawers. Again, our inverted outlet here, our TV hookups, there's even a rooftop satellite prep. So up until as little as a year and a half ago, you wanted satellite on a travel trailer. You'd be running all that wiring separately, locating a route to run it down. Here it is already prepped. Great little feature that they're thinking about. And I do like the digital thermostats. They're a nice touch. Uh, up front, we have a queen-size bed. Now we have a double entrance, as you noticed, as I panned from side to side. And those entrances are closed by solid pocket doors. So, mom and dad, you've got some privacy up front here, which is a nice touch. Good-sized wardrobes with mirrors, so that as, you're, as you've dressed, you can just check yourself. Shelf above. Nice little design behind the bed here. And then windows for cross ventilations. And on the hideout, they do open. You'll hear me talk a lot in videos about windows that open. The front window is an emergency screened window and it does open and as I mentioned, has a screen on it. We have good storage under the bed. And a nice little feature that you'll find in the hideouts is a laundry drop. So you'll notice our storage there. We could put a hamper and just drop down any dirty clothes that we have or the kids' clothes, and they're out of sight, out of mind. Just nice little features like that. 
a tribute to the livability of a unit. Again, weight-wise, really good weight and a lot of flexibility in this layout. We talked at the earlier part of the video about construction. I'm a very big proponent of construction when I look at RVs and do reviews. So I really like to look for RVs that have that 16 inch on center wall framing, floor framing and roof truss. Um, the hideouts do also use an LVL header, which is an engineered header that goes above the slide out here between the roof and the top of the slide out and it normally extends out past the slide out on both ends and that just gives you structural rigidity so when the slide is going out the center part of your roof where the slide is isn't flexing on you. The reason you don't want it to flex is if it flexes, then you're not getting a consistent seal on your slide out and that can lead to water issues down the road. So they use an LVL beam, engineered beam to give them that structural rigidity so that hopefully you have um, better reliability, longer life, better seal, pressures against your slide out, keeping water out. Speaking of slide outs, I do like the colored wood around the slide out itself. It's very simple, but I do like the color contrast between everything else in the trailer. So if you like the video, please click the like button. Uh, it does help get visibility for the channel and we would greatly appreciate that. Please click the subscribe uh, button and if you hit the bell next to it, you'll be notified of new videos of our re RV reviews that we do as they get posted to the website itself. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. We're trying to push past the 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you if you've hit that subscribe button. Thank you again to Bella Vista. Bella Vista is the dealer in the Simcoe, Muskoka, Toronto area for hideout trailers. So if you're looking for a trailer, come take a look. They have the largest indoor trailer showroom in the greater Toronto area. So on a rainy day or a super hot, humid day, you can actually look at a number of units in their indoor showroom. But I'd like to say thank you to Bella Vista for giving us access to a number of trailers, including those in their showroom. So for more information on this trailer, visit Bella Vista at their website at www.bellavistarv.com. I'll post a link below to make it nice and easy as well. Thank you again. I look forward to having you back at the channel and make sure that you live life to the fullest. Take care.